Can you imagine being a being that's similar to Superman that has the ability to harm beings made of pure fire? Or a being that was alive 4,000 years ago? Or a being that can survive 10 weeks without sleep? A being that's so aware he can tell he's in a different universe based on the atomic structure of the universe? A being that has super enhanced vision like Superman? Remarkably impressive hearing like Superman to where even if you're invisible he can still hear you? or can hear you talking miles away, has energy projection that can vaporize you, or melt metal, or melt skin, or simply incinerate hazardous stuff. The comparison wouldn't be complete if he didn't have heat vision and freeze breath, like freezing debris here, because he has to be as close to Superman as possible, right? Because writers love firing from Superman, right? Nah, he's not just a copy. He has telepathy type stuff too. He can resist being possessed, or even break free of magic-based type of stuff or one could say spell that's mr majestic for you but let's get started <laughs> when it comes to mr majestic wildstorm's most powerful hero returns they say quote unquote hey superman how you doing he looks very similar to superman when you look at their facial features he was a great warlord of his people he led his planet in a war against another alien species until he was trapped on earth Thanks to his alien physiology, this is why he's so strong. Notice how it's even narrated. He's the most powerful warlord of the planet. Kira, born and bred for battle, all emotion driven from him. He's been called the most powerful being on earth. He's considered the lord of the magistros. Another aspect about their lore is that they went through this thing known as the enlightenment, which increases their natural abilities. They even talk about this is the extent of your power. Let you know that Majestic and them went through some type of enlightenment enhancement and this is the reason why they're so strong too i mean he did create his own superhero team technically imagine having a base of operations secretly in mount rushmore you know it has the classic stuff like a supercomputer like all base of operations has it helps him do calculations on what he needs to do to perform a certain feat via physics the quantum computer can break into an alien's memory bank when the earth computers failed them in this particular regard the base has even been compared to the Justice League Watchtower. He said it's impressive, but this, this is a whole nother level. It's like being on an alien planet. They can tap into every computer. Going to tap into every computer on every planet, including at least 73 alternate Earth's computers. This is a supercomputer. <laughs> they say they have dozens of ways to traverse different universes with this base of operations. Yeah, this is basically like a super Mount Rushmore base of operations. He has stuff. That can make their body into proto-neutronium, morphing his body, a substance harder than diamonds, reflecting all radiation, heat, and light outward, the perfect protection. They have stuff like this in their base of operation. Supercomputer can give information about extraterrestrial things, constructed a door to other space, a place that's beyond comprehension, futuristic type tech. And you might not want to try to hack a base like this, even if it's like multitude of you. Other than his enhanced physiology, which I haven't got over yet, he's smart too, like even forging these planet mover gauntlets in the Rushmore Sanctuary. This makes me believe it's time to talk about his standard gear. He has an awesome arsenal on top of his super strength, speed, and etc. or flight ability. He knows nerve points. When it actually comes to the gear, his suit can grant invisibility. That's what they call it. He has ships that can fly super fast to different star systems. Nanobots that can rebuild stuff like the Washington Monument. The suit can make holograms. A booster thingy that helps him fly faster while in space. Zero gravity generators protect against singularities. Well, at least until the singularity gets really close or some crap like that, if you know what I'm saying. He has like pills that can depower him for three hours. Just a regular old mortal. He has these planet mover gauntlets. He does this so he doesn't have to suffer the consequences of physics. Somebody this small moving a planet, the planet will break apart under its own weight, own weight piece by piece because of physics. Their point is to maintain structural integrity over large areas of mass holding together something that would normally break apart in transit collapsing under its own weight. If they were useful in successfully moving the nine planets, this shouldn't be a problem. He has these Corsa blades. Blades were forged by the race for one purpose. They can absorb the heat of a thousand suns. He has a mech suit too. Ain't that crazy. He has these creation engine blades. A pair of them. Stated can cut through anything. And when they say anything, they meant anything including mr majestic himself cutting him more than once but how strong is this guy strong enough to stop buses when cars are mid-flight he can catch them this guy carried a plane all the way to hawaii entire buildings like skyscrapers when they're about to fall over he says nah i can stop it with my strength you can see how small he is in comparison to this entire thing yeah it's huge 
Notice how they mistake him for Superman. He does look like him, I ain't gonna lie. This gigantic skyscraper size robot, he just drags it into space. In the heat of battle, he moves this big chunk of ice. Look how small he is in comparison to this big jump. He literally, in short instances, stopped this runaway bullet train. Then he said, let me go into the skies and stop a commercial airliner from free falling because he's a hero like that. It's a cases like this on why he had these kinetic field gauntlets. Things that are ginormous, look at him versus the thing. He can move it without it breaking apart from its own weight. He can save you and overpower the vortex itself when the vortex is trying to suck you in. He can say, no, let me overpower that. Strength 2 moves the largest asteroid and moves them to Mars one by one, then uses his I-beams to break them apart so there won't be much danger. Yeah, he has I-beams. Using a mixture of his raw flight speed, he intercepts Comet and changes their path. Move the entire moon itself with his strength. Move the entire planet Earth. Just because he's nice, he moves planets even smaller than Earth. Just because you're smaller doesn't mean I forgot about you. Like how he pushed Mercury into Jupiter's orbit. Mercury move. I love flashy feats like this where you can't really misinterpret it. Move the Earth and a massive star. Yes. He's just that strong. Speaking of this star, he moved, even created it technically, sculpted and superheated by laser vision. It's a dumative stand-in for the Earth's life-giving sun. We know he can lift octillions of tons or even the planet Earth, which is sextillions of tons, blah, blah, blah. Notice how he can just sling himself in close proximity with a star. No big deal or discomfort to his durability. He got punched across buildings by Superman before. The destruction of the entire planet Earth, he can survive it. Nuclear explosion, stuff that blows up cities, only messes up his clothes. When we're talking about the powerhouses of DC Comics, I don't want to sound like a broken record because I say this in a lot of my DC vids or Marvel vids for that matter, but it seems that the writers want him to be in the powerhouse ranges for DC Comics. That he's not quite Superman strong, but he's close enough, they said. And considering what powerhouses have done in DC, Green Lanterns fixing entire planets, Lanterns being able to contain stars, like Captain Atom, Majestic has fought, can create his own dimensions, even Green Lanterns can contain galactic-sized energy waves, like Kyle Green Lantern, for example, containing the power, characters like Firestorm are being compared to Big Bang, aka Universe leveling power and etc. Big Bang attack! Even if he's slightly below, he's not a billion times weaker. So if Superman's 100, he should be a 95 or a 90 or something. You get it, what I'm saying? There's DC characters out here that can make their own black holes by accident by punching super hard. Way past that star level, I would say, just like other DC people. Superman even said, thanks for patching the ozone layer, by the way. He simply said, not difficult. And that business with the fault line, good to know Kali isn't going anywhere anytime soon. So it lets you know the titanic feats of strength he can stop. Captain Adam even says he's not quite Superman strong, but he's close enough to where they let you know that the writer's intent is for him not to be astronomically weaker. And watch my Superman video to see why being slightly weaker than Superman is impressive. On top of the obvious thing of them looking similar, it's clear that the writers kind of want him to kind of mimic Superman to some degree based on his aesthetics and his feats of strength. When you're reading, you just get the intent that you feel like they want him to be somewhere in that range of power, even if he isn't exactly equal. I mean, we're talking about a guy that threw a nuke to the sun from Earth of three throwing power. In a fight with Superman, he does this to an entire building. His punching power seems to be just like his lifting strength. I mean, it kind of, when you can lift a certain amount of weight, usually punch even harder than that. Because that's how real life humans punch. Like people that can't lift 800 pounds can punch with 800 pounds of force thanks to velocity, momentum, kinetic linking, stuff like that. He can thunderclap and stop tidal wave. Things that are massively bigger than himself, he can punch them real hard and knock them out. Like this giant sand drape, he's not afraid of handling 2v1s. A horde Spartan robot. Y'all are minions to my power. Metal alien drones get curb stomped. Can just reach in your head. Tossing drones in the street. Can shake buildings with collateral. They can accidentally destroy houses by accident in just a few hits. Even though he's powerful, he's had his fair share of fighting super powerful folks like Maul. Even beings that the harder he hits, the larger they grow. He's even knocked out beings with a thunderclap before, like heat stroke. Beings I have videos about on the channel, like Captain Adam, he's even slug fested with them and threw him to the Washington Monument. Captain Adam, somebody you have no choice but to respect. Got in fights with beings like the Eradicator. When you're this strong, it's hard to measure your own strength, like snapping blades in half, simply stopping Apollo's punch, slug fest with Captain Adam I've already brought up and stopping his punches, crushes things into diamonds with the strength, 
Traveling really fast in a straight line and fighting fast are two separate things. Reaction, being able to see things moving at high speeds is what reaction time is or fighting speed. Mr. Majestic has that. He sees and reacts like this. Information flowing in the form of a photon pulses billions per second. Uh, interference, block, redirect, rewrite. Fighting speed. Operation speed. Being able to think fast. When he only has nanoseconds time to react, he still can react. Don't forget that one nanosecond is one billionth of a second. One second divided by a billion. That's fast. Nanosecond warning, that's all the time he needs. Stops bullets from hitting civilian, getting in the path of it showing his speed. Hand movement speed. He can fly faster than sound and blitz. Fast enough to move beings out of the way of an energy weapon. Speed blitzes a super villain, literally out of his suit. Multiple attacks, he just straight up dodges. He does not have a problem fighting while using his travel speed at the same time, like zipping everywhere. I'm sure y'all see a lot of movies where a character flies so fast that this is how it looks. Ridiculous speed flying all the way to another planet in an extremely short amount of time. Not only is this a resistance feat, but he's close to a star, but he can kind of fly around it in circular motion to further show how fast he is. We're talking about the guy that flew from earth to the edge of the milky way galaxy in an extremely short amount of time because of raw speed in general stated here to fly mach 12 speed fast enough to catch up to a nuclear missile he goes into volcanoes for like jacuzzi fun because my skin can handle it <laughs> how the heck did he take kyle's ring but that's none of my business he does like an ancient ritual to do some splitting the sun up type of stuff because he's smart like that this guy was even able to cancel out the effects of a time loop once he realized he was in a time loop but that could be just me what do you guys think do you guys think he's billions of times weaker than superman narratively speaking i definitely don't think that's the case but that could be just me they seem they want him to be a powerhouse range being you know what i'm saying but i also got to give a quick shout out to those that took the time to donate to the channel it helps out a lot believe it or not respect mr majestic